It has been described as a new era by the boss. Microsoft's last version of Windows, Windows 10, has launched globally today in 190 countries. So why is it such a big deal? Firstly, it's being offered for free, for a bit to some people. Basically, users already running Windows 7, 8 or 8.1 can have it for free, but they must act quickly because after a year, they'll have to pay. It will be multi-platform, meaning essentially the same software will work on PCs, smartphones, tablets and the Xbox games console. That means that eventually Windows 10 will be spread throughout the whole Microsoft ecosystem, hopefully making it easier for users to jump between platforms. And finally, you can say bye-bye to Internet Explorer. Edge is your new web browser. Edge will let users annotate directly onto web pages as though making real notes, and then they can save these screens for later. Microsoft's digital assistant Cortana is said to regularly outperform Apple's Siri. Okay, remind you to file my expense report when you get to work. Well, Windows 10 will now look to run with this by pushing Cortana to desktop for the first time. This is Microsoft's last launch of this kind. From here on, it will gradually update the software for free over months and years. And if you already reserved your free upgrade, hang in there as Microsoft says it's rolling out in waves, starting with Windows Insiders and then moving through pre-orders gradually. Doing it this way means the release is more stable so that any issues that pop up can be fixed for the next one.